Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on this late Thursday evening, almost 10 o'clock. Still quiet in Providence after a beautiful day today. We are tracking a weather alert for parts of Thursday. Bottom line, we've got some downpours, some occasional thunderstorms, potential for some localized street flooding. Looks like this precipitation is going to come in two kind of batches. The first one being Thursday morning. A little bit of a lull in the afternoon, then the second one by well, either very late day or early evening. So we're pretty, we're fairly quiet during the overnight. We'll start, we'll see some fog rolling in, especially along the south shore. Weather alert for Thursday, showers, thunderstorms, some occasional downpours and some localized street flooding possible anywhere those downpours set up. And again, we're essentially looking at two rounds, one during the morning, a little bit of a lull mid-afternoon, and then late day, early evening, I think closer to sunset. Another area of showers and thunderstorms uh, passing through Friday for the most part. I mean, slight chance of a shower, but a uh, better part of Friday actually looks warm and dry. All right, so here's the uh, the setup. You see the moisture now actually approaching the Mid-Atlantic in New Jersey and, and Philadelphia. The D.C. area this evening had uh, some strong thunderstorms. So what we're tracking is not one but two fronts. Uh, first one, this red line, is a you know, that's a warm front. And that will approach on Thursday morning. So that'll be the mechanism for some showers and thunderstorms during the morning. And then we'll watch for this cold front, this blue line, uh, off to our west. And that will approach during the, um, the late day, early evening hours on Thursday. So we start things off Thursday morning at around 7 a.m. The precipitation starting to work in, heavy at times with some downpours and thunder. Here we are at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, even up until about 12 noon, still tracking some of this uh, precipitation and thunder. Notice kind of like early to mid-afternoon, around 3, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, we get into a little bit of a lull, maybe even a little break in the overcast. So as round one moves offshore, here's the lull, and then we'll watch the skies off to our west. Very late day and early evening, um, just around either side of sunset. This is around 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. Some of these uh, storms passing through southeastern Massachusetts and the Cape by 11 o'clock tomorrow night. And you do see some of this clearing off to our west, which will ar arrive in time for Friday morning. So here we are Thursday morning, showers and thunderstorms likely, some localized uh, street flooding possible, temperatures starting off in the upper 60s, very, very humid, a lot of humidity. So when you have that high humidity, it's easy to create downpours and, and sometimes some localized street flooding. And then during the afternoon, that kind of a mid-afternoon lull, and then towards the 7, 8 o'clock um, hour, towards the early Thursday evening, we'll watch for a few more thunderstorms, though this time they should be more scattered. Uh, but I think the risk is there as we get closer to sunset. Uh, beaches, obviously not a great beach day, though better beach weather coming up on um, on Friday. And then looking at the, the bay forecast, some, in, I mean, obviously impacts that you need to be mindful of boaters. The lightning, the poor visibility in the rain or in the morning, uh, as well as some fog. And then another lightning risk, either late day or early evening. Generally a south wind, 10 to 15, but obviously winds would be locally stronger in any uh, thunderstorms that come through. And then better weather coming up on Friday. Now, small chance of a late day shower Friday afternoon, but for the most part, Friday looks partly to mostly sunny, warm, and dry. Of course, with some of the stormy weather coming in on Thursday morning for the morning commute, you're going to want to tune into 12 News in the morning with TJ uh, for the latest updates.